Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, this is a 26-inch LG LCD TV that comes to repair here. This is the model number. In this TV, the complaint is no display. See friends, now we open the back door of the TV. This is the power supply board and this is the motherboard. Here, the backlights are working properly. Here, actually, the complaint is with the panel. See friends, this is the fault. Here you can see the backlights are working properly. Here, the complaint is with the panel. It's a 26-inch AEO panel. See friends, this is the panel scalar board. So before starting repair, first we need to check the basic panel voltages using a multimeter. See friends, first we are going to check the basic input panel 12 volt panel VCC. See friends, the 12 volt input panel VCC is present. See friends, this is the AVDD voltage. See friends, this is the VGH voltage and this is the VGL voltage. So in this panel, all basic panel voltages are present in the scalar board. So here the problem is with the side curve. So in this panel, now we need to check the voltages in the side curve. The curve IC number is RM76180FC. Not 086. This is the cough IC number. While measuring the voltages in the side curve, here we found that the VGH and VGL voltages are present. See friends, here you can see the VGH and VGL voltages reading in the multimeter. So these two basic voltages are present in the side curve. See friends, when I touch the meter knob on the YOE and YCLK signals here you can see when I touch the YOE and YCLK test point here you can see the picture comes for a second and fades see friends now the picture comes and started fading See friends, this is the situation when I touch the YOE and YCLK signals on the side curve. When the meter knob touches this test point. See friends, when I touch the meter knob on these test points, the picture comes for a second and fades away. So, from this, we can understand that the YOE and YCLK signals are missing in the side curve. So, we need to bypass these two signals from the scalar PCB of the panel to the side curve using a jumper wire. See friends, now in these two test points, we are going to bypass the YOE and YCLK signals using a jumper wire. For soldering the jumper wires in these two test points, we should remove the insulation from this test point. See friends, now we bypass the YCLK and YOE signals. Here you can see these are the two test points. We bypass these two signals using a jumper wire and connected this jumper wire in the side curve. 
see friends now we soldered this jumper wire in the side cuff see friends now here you can see the result see friends now the tv is working properly see now the picture comes and the complaint is solved successfully so after bypassing these two missing signals from the panel scalar pcb to the side cuff now the tv is repaired successfully after bypassing these signals using this jumper wire now the next step is to properly fix this jumper wire See friends now we properly fixed this jumper wire using a double side tape see friends after bypassing the jumper wires in side cuff we should properly fix them so our work is done now we can put the panel frame back to tv See friends now we fixed the panel frame Now the TV stand on and here you can see the result The display is now crystal clear So in this condition now we can put the back cover and all screws back to TV So friends finally this is the result Now the TV is repaired successfully after bypassing the missing signals to the side cuff of the panel So that's it hope you like this video see you in another video with another interesting topics if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications for these kinds of more interesting panel repairing videos please do subscribe our channel thanks for watching